Welcome to Educare. In this video, we will discuss exam tips for F6 ACCA. This video is about important tips of F6 which can help you to secure good marks. Remember, after gaining knowledge about the subject, it is very important to know how to apply this knowledge. So these small tips if you follow can have a better impact on your results. So first is read carefully. It helps you in identifying information stated in the question. The requirement of question accurately. Tricky wording sometimes make it difficult for you to understand requirement properly. So this is an example for a question which has a different type of wording given. For the first two tax year after leaving the UK, what is the maximum number of ties which Inzo could keep with the UK? without being treated as resident in the UK. So in this question, they are not asking the maximum number of ties in order to be a, considered as resident. They are asking about maximum number of ties in order to be considered as non-resident. Reading and understanding a question's requirement will avoid spending a lot of time calculating like an income tax liability when it is not needed. So reading carefully will also help in differentiating information in question like whether you have been asked to calculate the income tax payable or income tax liability. Always check carefully whether you have been given payments gross or net. Like in this first question, Brenda has employment income of 55,000 each year and makes a payment of 3600 and makes a payment of 3600. Remember that if an individual is making payment, it means this is a net amount and you need to gross it up. While in the second question, in the tax year 21-22, Susie received employment income of this. She made a gross gift aid donation. So there is given a word gross, which means the information, the amount is given as gross. Start working with your strongest topic. If in a long question, you have been asked to calculate income tax and you need to calculate employment income, self-employment income, property income, then start with your strongest topic. It does not have to be completed in set order. Show working. If you are adjusting a figure given in the question, but uh, think carefully about which working can be included as one line calculation within the main competition and which needs their own separate working. Time a portion. If a benefit is given for a part of tax year, it must be time a portion. Use of brackets with a computation containing both addition and deductions. Candidates should be very careful to indicate which is which. A single column approach with deductions shown in the bracket avoid any confusion. Present answer in a summary table. When asked to compare two situation, it is better to present in summary table and also show its working like this. Read carefully and don't miss any information. Especially in a long question, there is a lot of information. So read carefully and don't miss any information. Because if you miss any information, you can jump to a wrong answer. So thanks for watching, if you find it useful, do share and if you want more videos like this, subscribe this channel.